উগান্ডা এবং ভারতের মধ্যে দ্বিপাক্ষিক চুক্তির আবেদন করলেন উগান্ডারই ডেপুটি হাই কমিশনার তার দাবি উগান্ডাতে যে অর্থনীতি এই মুহূর্তে আস্তে আস্তে উন্নততর করার চেষ্টা করা হচ্ছে তাতে ভারতীয় লগ্নি যদি আরও পাওয়া যায় তাহলে উগান্ডার মতো দেশের সঙ্গে ভারতের চুক্তি আগামী দিনে অনেক বেশি উন্নততর করে তুলতে পারবে উগান্ডার মতো দেশকে ভারতীয় লগ্নিকারীদের কাছে একটা বড় সুযোগ উগান্ডাতে গিয়ে যে গড়ে তোলা যায় তা এদিন বোঝাতেই একটি দ্বিতীয় বর্ষের বিজনেস কনফারেন্সের আয়োজন করা হয়েছিল নিউটাউনের প্রাইড হোটেলে সেখানে উপস্থিত হয়েছিলেন উগান্ডার দুজন মন্ত্রী This is the second Uganda investment conference organized in India the first one having taken place in Mumbai last year and on this particular occasion we are graced with a, a very high power delegation from Kampala capital city of two cabinet ministers plus a number of resource persons the technical officers The conference is premised on the historical ties between the two countries that uh, date pre independence of the two countries because the Indian community uh, has been in Uganda even before we got independence they did a commendable role in the construction of the Uganda railway and they were uh, the lead investors in setting the commercial pace in the country plus industrialization the bilateral relations between the two countries is very strong just recently the prime minister of india said you got that we have a sizable number of indian community in uganda over 30000 indians they are living happily in the country even here where we are we have got some of them who were born and raised in uganda others just went we are where we are in this conference and they are here to give testimony about the economic potential of the country the hospitality of the citizens of uganda the peace and security in the country uganda is basically an agro based economy but agriculture is still at the subsistence level we have a variety of agricultural products with the two rainy seasons and we strongly believe that if we went in partnership with indian companies and uh, we leverage on their technological advancements in agriculture just with a few additions with a little irrigation instead of producing two crops a year we can end up producing four crops a year we are also uh, appealing upon the indian business community to come and set best in the country after all there is already clear testimony that quite a number of your brothers and sisters are in uganda they are doing well they are flourishing we are looking at a, a situation where we can get people from here to come down to uganda partner with our sons and daughters and add value onto the things we do produce most especially in the agricultural sector Uganda is a country which is endowed by nature but unfortunately most of what we produce we consume what we do not consume we leave it to rot we need investment in the sectors like uh, like um, storage facilities Uh, 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 I've talked about the natural endow endowment. It's a country which is gifted by nature, a variety of wildlife, birds, a variety of them, very good climate. So even tourism, it is it is high on our agenda. উগান্ডার মতো দেশের হস্তশিল্পকে যাতে এ রাজ্যের মানুষ আরো আপন করে নিতে পারে এবং এ রাজ্যের হস্তশিল্পকে যাতে উগান্ডার মতো দেশে আরো ছড়িয়ে দেওয়া যায় তার জন্য চেষ্টা শুরু করা হয়েছে শুধু তাই নয় উগান্ডার মহিলাদের প্রশিক্ষণ দিয়ে তাদের হস্তশিল্পকে আরো উন্নত মানের যাতে করে তোলা যায় তার জন্য চেষ্টা শুরু করা হয়েছে উদ্যোগ গ্রহণ করেছে রাকসাক ফাউন্ডেশন নামক একটি সংস্থা
দাবি তারা মহিলাদেরকে আরও প্রশিক্ষিত করে রাজ্যের লগ্নি বাড়াতে সাহায্য করতে পারে Yeah, so on behalf of Rakshak Subida Private Limited and I was, I'm representing Rakshak Foundation as an implementing partner of my parent company that is Rakshak Subida and I'm very happy that today I'm here today and I had a presentation made before the Uganda distinguished delegations and also distinguished delegations from Kolkata. So uh, we were very privileged that to have the delegation from Uganda, both the commissioner uh were present and also the honorable two ministers were present we had a very fruitful meeting over last two days 14th and 15th and uh, we had come up with lot of ideas and synergies and collaborations between the two countries because as kolkata is very rich with the culture and it's the intellectual capital of india and cultural capital of india so they started with a very vibrant and a very fascinating dance and uh, songs in between the conference that became very colorful and it's very honest it started with a lighter note and uh, we also we are also very good with this uh, you know respecting and acknowledging the cultural part uh, so we can also we were thinking about the synergies of art and culture and also social so we have got to see that lot of women delegations from Uganda was here and they had displayed handicrafts items made out of uh, bamboos and there was an old woman who was here so she just collected those vests and she made amazing bags. So similarly we are also doing social entrepreneurship, we are uh, imparting training with the prison inmates and uh, targeting the inclusive society. So we also shared our jute and they very well accepted the jute over there and they said that they also have similar kind of uh, saplings and vegetable fiber which we can skill, we can impart our skill training and we can also develop that kind of fabric and durable which, is, uh, which will be good for uh, packaging. So that's going to be a eco-friendly, uh, you know, like we are addressing, we can address the United Nations uh, sustainability goal together. We referred this to our Honorable Prime Minister's visit to Uganda in the month of uh, July 24th to 25th and uh, they have talked about the bilateral collaboration and uh, peace and also about sustainability, multilateral issues. So this is one uh, a very positive thing that the women uh, uh, entrepreneurs of Uganda and to the women entrepreneurs of uh, West Bengal, we can march together, collaborate together, unite together and uh, we can address uh, for a better and a positive world uh, for the people and the planet. Promoting Bengal handicrafts, so we are also trying to collaborate synergies and trying to see opportunities because in Uganda they are very good with the minerals and uh, agriculture and tourism so uh, we were thinking that they, they are also taking interest with the Indian fashion Kolkata because they praise my sari and they are looking forward to the Katha stitch so they have all liked it so we'll definitely have some kind of uh, synergies between the women entrepreneurs and the women uh, stylists in uh, Uganda.